Hey, what's up? This is Val Ramos, and in today's DG tutorial, I'm going to discuss the pad effects and how to employ the various pad effects. So the pad effects are similar to the beat effects in that you have many of the same effects. You have rolls, you have trans, you have echo, you have reverb, and you have flanger. But you also have some new effects such as the backspin, you have the vinyl break which sounds like a tape stop, and then you have an echo out effect which these are unique effects that you can apply as transitions. So some of these effects are actually uh, transition effects, whereas the other effects are effects that you can either use as a transition or you can simply just apply on top of the track. So you want to make your pad effects personal. You do this in your actual software. You have two pages. You can have 16 pad effects per deck, and then you can set the individual parameters. So just like your hockey points and just like knowing your beat effects, once you understand the system, these effects become so much easier. I typically use only about two or three of these pad effects, but I know they're in the same places on both decks, that, which means that it is literally a system that I use. I have a backspin and I have an echo. Those are the ones that I use the most. And then occasionally I'll use the rolls and then sometimes I use the vinyl break, which sounds like a tape stop. So I'm gonna bring my camera around and I'm gonna show you some of these effects with my track, Valoramus and the Safety Word Amnesia. And we will go through some of these pad effects together and apply. But these are really comfortable because these pads in the DJ 1000 are actually one of the selling points of the system in addition to the jog wheels because these pads, they just have a really nice aesthetic to them. The, they're, they're very smooth, they're easy to touch, easy to engage, and they're just ultimately easy to use. So we'll bring this camera around and I'm gonna show you how to use some of these effects with your tracks. Okay, so you engage the pad effects by hitting the pad effects button right here. It's the second button over onto this pad mode feature. And that will, so instead of the hot cues, the hot cue button, the pad effects is right next to it. You'll see different colors, blue, purple, and kind of a lighter green. These represent the various effects, pad effects, that are on your Rekordbox DJ software. And to activate these effects, you just press the buttons. And some effects you hold in the case of the roll, and then others you simply just press one time in the case of the backspin or echo because they are transition effects. And then if you press that button again for the backspin of the echo or the vinyl break, you can release that effect and then continue playing the track. But this is how you activate the pad effects. And then once you've activated the pad effects with this pad effects button, your software, your Rekordbox DJ software will recognize that setting and it will go over and display these pad effects in your software. So you'll basically have two checks of your, your pad effects and then you can look at your laptop if you need to, and then you'll know which effects to activate, and it'll correspond to the pads. So you have 16 pad effects accessible with these arrow buttons. So simply just left and right. Okay, so after you hit the pad effects button, the pads will be displayed here, the pad effects. So you can see you have roll one half beat, roll one quarter beat, roll one eighth beat. You can set these buttons to whichever effect that you want. Okay, so how you set these effects is you go to this settings button, which looks like that little gear symbol, and then you just have to insert the effect that you want, whether it's a beat effect, a sound color effect, a release effect, etc. So you could use a sound color effect such as a high pass filter, a low pass filter, etc. Uh, and then you can also set the parameters. And same thing with the vinyl break. So you have these release effects, which are in R, that is the vinyl break, the backspin, the echo and these buttons are basically your transition effects but deactivating this you want these effects to be in the same place on both decks so i have my backspin as, as the middle left and i have the echo as the middle right those are the ones i use the most and then it's the same thing on the left the left hand side or the decks one and three so once you are familiar with your own setting then you can use this and personalize this to yourself so you know what to do. But we're gonna go over a couple of these. So I'm gonna play my track, Amnesia. So here are the rolls. Now here's the final break. And I have it set on three quarters. Now the trans effect. Now the backspin. And again, that's a release effect. So I press that and I'm supposed to go to the next track right now. Now, if I press the pad again, the track will continue to play. 
And now here's the echo, which is another release effect. So into the and So you see, you can use that as an effect to echo. So you have to know your music and then apply it at the exact right moment. And then we have this flame here. So the non-release effects, you must hold down the pads. For the release effects, denoted in R, you simply just press it one time. That's the difference. So now let's go to page two. We have a trans half. We have a crush. We have a filter. I like this one, filter LFO. We have another backspin. So let's say I don't like this backspin. I want to change this backspin. We'll make this backspin a high pass effect which cuts the lows. So now let's go back to it and we're going to use this. So now it's in green. High pass effect. So now let's apply it to both. Let's do it to this side too. Pass effect. Del echo. Space. We have echo. So, so in the name of keeping these the same, let's move this echo right here. The space will be an echo and it'll be a one beat effect. So it'll be slightly different. And you must check this on button too. That's how you know. And then instead of this echo, let's, let's use something different. Let's use the reverb. Okay, now let's go back. So now you have high pass Fulton reverb, which is actually a common transition. So watch this. Now we can press these both at the same time. Bam. Now let's do it the same to the other deck that we were, were consistent. Again, a lot of this is about consistency. So, okay, so we're gonna make this the same settings on deck two now. So we're gonna use beat effects reverb at 50%. And then down here, instead of the backspin, because you already have on the first page, we're going to use the sound color effect high pass filter. That's the most popular one, 50%. So bam, now you have the same setting on both, at least for the, the most important beat effects. So again, we're going to go play. Yeah. break, release effect, backspin release effect, echo release effect. Now we have echo here, and that's a one beat. Now we have the high pass filter and reverb together. On the other deck, we have the same thing, high pass filter and reverb. These buttons are located right next to each other, so bam. And press. There you have it. If you like this content, like to see more, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps the channel.